Hi welcome to this PWCT tutorial, in this lesson we are going to learn how to add controls like labels and buttons to the application window and how to call a procedure when an event happens. In the last tutorial we learned how to add the main window to our application, at first open this application using PWCT. The steps tree contains two general types of steps. The first type is the generated steps like the step define new window. The second type is the created steps that are used for comments and organization like the step which called the first step. We will create a new step called procedures using the new step button. Type the step name then click OK. Now we have the step procedures added to the steps tree, OK. Now let us learn how to use the window. Events component select the step window events then click interact. When we open the components browser we see that the window events component is selected. Double click to use it. The default event is the INIT event and the default action is showing a message. OK. Type the message hello from INIT. Now click OK then run the application. Great, we see the message. Now we will modify the component data to determine a procedure called ape start to be called when the event INIT is fired. We will set the window events component action type option to create this procedure. Now we see that the procedure ape start is added to the steps tree. At any time we can go to this procedure step from the first step which is generated through the interaction with the window events component. Now we will use the show message component to display a message from our procedure. Type the message then click OK. Run the application. Everything is OK. Select the step window controls, then interact to add a label to the window. We have many controls. Type the label caption, for example, welcome to PWCT. The label steps are generated and inserted into the steps tree. Click interact to add a button to the window. We will define a button to close the application. Use the button events component to determine the button function. Use the window class component to generate a step which will close the window. The window class component contains three pages. Move to the last one. Type the window object name, which is when one or selected from the objects list. Select the method release. Run the application. Everything is OK. But we need to modify the controls position so we can see the label and the button at the same time. We can do this easily using the form designer.
Run the application. Great. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.